back, family. Welcome to the weekend. You made it. And to celebrate, we have another episode of our Focus Fridays. If you've been following along with us this uh, since New Year's, we've been going through our Impact DNA, and Cameron has done an awesome job introducing us to the mission statement, and also now we're starting to look through our Impact values. And he started last week by talking to us about how Jesus is our message. And funny enough, the Bible also calls Jesus the word, if you look in John chapter one. And that leads right into value number two. I'm talking about how God's word is our foundation. God's word is our foundation because whether directly or indirectly, there is an answer for every portion of our lives found in the word of God. And when I'm talking about the word of God, I mean the Bible. You see, the Bible isn't just a collection of stories and rules and some obscure prophecies in there too. But 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 to 17 tells us all scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. So we believe that the Bible is, yes, written by many human authors, but it's also a word inspired by and from God. See, he wants us to understand his heart, his desires, his plans and his purposes, his character, and that he has a plan for each and every individual. And as we read through his word, he opens up his heart to us. And he has a message there for each and every one of us, all the way from Genesis to Revelation. It says that the Bible is alive and active. That means we can read it and, and see and hear what God wants us to understand. See, in a world of ever-changing standards and an age of moral relativism, it's so important for us to know what we can define as truth. And not just truth today, but truth a year from now and a hundred years from now. And we have this word of God that was written thousands of years ago, and it was truth then, and it's truth today. You know, Isaiah 40 verse 8 tells us that the, glass, the grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of our God stands forever. You know, culture may change, politi politically correct statements may change, but God's word is always truth. We can always stand on it. And, you know, there may be many people that say one thing and believe one thing this year, and then five years from now, they believe and, and stand on another thing. But just because everyone believes it doesn't make it true. It just makes it popular. And so we're looking for not the popular foundation. We're looking for truth to be our foundation. And that's why we want God's word to be our foundation, because it is always true. And, you know, foundations aren't meant to shift. They're that firm standing that we can build upon and know that what we are building then is not going to shift. So if we want our lives to be able to stand firmly and securely, we want to build our lives upon something that is not going to shift. And if the past year has shown us anything, we can see that our world is full of shifting change. And this is why Jesus also shared a parable with his disciples found in Matthew 7, verse 24 to 27. He said, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. Everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against the house, and it fell with a great crash. So here we see this contrast that Jesus gave us between a firm foundation and a faulty foundation. And what did he say here? It wasn't just that we should hear the word because both the foolish and the wise builder heard the word, or we could say read the word of God. But it's not just about hearing or reading it. It's about actually applying it to our lives. And that's how we get that firm foundation. You know, when we read the Bible, there's actually two different Hebrew words that are even translated as word when we read it in English. So you can look at these two words, which are logos and rhema. And logos is this Hebrew word that means 
basically words on a page. So we can read a logos in any book that we read. Anything that we open up is, is just words on a page. But when we look at the rhema word of God, it takes those words on a page and turns it from a story into a message. It makes it come alive. It's the revelation of God that we get through his word that builds our strong foundation. When we take the, the Logos written word, and we hear the message that God wants us to hear through that written word, it becomes revelation that we can apply to our lives, that we can put into practice, like Jesus was saying that we should do. And that's why um, if you even look at the story of when Jesus was being tempted in the wilderness, he had gone 40 days of fasting and not eating. And so the enemy, the devil came to him and said, here's a rock, turn it into bread. But how does Jesus reply? He says, man should not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. He wasn't talking about just the, the words on a page, the logos. He was saying man should live on the rhema, revelatory word of God. See, he knows that, yes, we do need to feed our, our flesh and bone. We need bread to feed our bodies, but we need to also feed our spirits with the revelatory word of God. That is how we build that firm foundation. That's how we have God's word as our foundation. So when we value it as our foundation, that means that we not only take it in, but we value the application of that word to our lives. And this is how we can build our strong foundation that will not be shaken. As we search for wisdom in the word of God and apply it to our everyday lives, there is something there for whatever it is that you're going through. As we take that in, we seek out his truth and apply it to our lives, then we can build with confidence that knowing that we'll have an unshakable and unchanging truth to build our foundation upon so that no matter what storms life may bring, we can stand firm with God's word as our foundation. Mm -hmm.